Do you see what I see? This is an absolute cursed and beautiful mod that is making every province an island without straits between only the straits that are in vanilla game are over here. It is a completely different U4 experience that Archipelago Universalis mod is providing to us and today I'm gonna make it as cursed as possible by playing as Tunis. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified about the future videos and join the community to get the special emotes and ranks and of course support the channel. This is absolutely beautiful, I can even see most of Asia with our beautiful Tunis. So this is gonna be a big experience because first of all we have Gallic combat ability. So even if there will be a coalition, we could win with almost any coalition with enough navy. And second of all, we can raid costs. So for example, if we get a province inside Hungary, it can raid all of the guys around. So why don't we go to our estates and we start setting them up. Admin mana, mill mana, from the burgers I'll take the 1% loans, monthly piety, better relations with same religion, manpower, supremacy of the crown, prestige, seize land, sound diet. All right, now we have time to build the light ship. So let's go on bit one, two, three, four and five. That will take us over the force limit, but this is just fine. At the same time, from the government, we can go and pick the co creation cost, which would be really neat. And I think I'm gonna go focus admin while taking advisor number one here, advisor number two here, and advisor number three here. We will be losing some money, but remember, our economy is gonna be mainly based on raiding. I also start improving my relations with the Ottomans because I do like them to be our ally also for the mission tree. While with the other diplomats I'll start building my network on the Berbers around because they're also part of our mission tree and it's time to raid. Raid number one, let me take a general here, oh that's a great general. Raid number two, raid number three. Morocco would like to be our ally, yeah let's do that, we don't really care about them. And honestly as anyway, we are the island nation, right? We only need a navy, we don't need a single fort in our country. I'm still raiding guys, I already have 400 ducats, 430 ducats in my pocket and we are still raiding, especially the Italians. This is it, now we have 550 ducats after all the raidings done and we can proceed with building up our fleet. Ah, yes, before we build that, I'll take a naval doctrine, of course, for the galley combat ability. I think this is part of the most, the mythical Atlantis fund. I will the expansion myself and play as Atlantis. Let's send more explorers right away. I want to explore Atlantis, but not play as it. <laughs> our Sultan is right now strict. This is great, but the issue is, our air is 201, so why don't we get rid of him? Then I can boost my stability and take the cheaper advisors from each of the estates, so we're paying a little bit less for them. Trade ships are done, so I can take a construct a Corsair fleet. Perfect. And there are six islands. Ooh, that's a hard mission to get. It's a lot of provinces to conquer. And control the barbaric coast. So, okay, that's also not the easiest one. But I think both are very doable. Privateer efficiency and galley combat ability are waiting for me in both of these. Start with taking down Jared. That should be extremely easy. Just from this fleet, first of all, wipe the army. And then I also go and siege down Gadames. Obviously, it's very important to get a flagship ASAP on this mod. That's why I'm gonna take a galley with more cannons as well as fit morale and engagement with. So without wasting our time, I'll go and attack Mzap already because they like to Granada. So with Granada promises here, I can raid Spain and whole Iberia. Let's just declare the war. 304 is not really a better air, but... <laughs> I don't think I can lose more prestige at this point. You know what? No. Let's disinherit. We'll get someone better. Yes, Granada promises for ourselves. That's actually a lot of, I guess, expansion and everything, but... Who cares in this mod? The only issue is that, that I've seen, yeah, those princes are already raided by the Africans, but for example, these ones are not, so I'm gonna use that in a second. What the hell is this? Two, two, two. <laughs> I don't have luck to earth in this game. With major to the Berber lands in our hands, we are just missing two gold provinces, but right now we have truce. Pretty much what happened, Morocco called us into the war and gave us one province. So I'll take them later, this is fine. But now, what I've seen, Naples became independent. I do not have a claim on them, but this is fine because I can just go and no CB them. This is because I've got an event for the stability, so it's at level 3 right now, so I don't have really to care about this. Anyway, before that, let's ally the Ottomans to get another mission, which is for the permaclays for Iskandria in Cyrenaica. 
So provinces of the Mamluks. But yeah, Mr. Naples, time for the no CB war. I think even yeah, even if somebody could join the coalition, we don't care. Let's just no CB and land straight next to their troops. With enough legalis, I can just go, debase the currency, and decrease it back to just keep our enough money to maintain our giga fleet. Oh, there is war of independence. Where Morocco is fighting against Portugal and S Castile. You know what? I don't care about this. We are in November. It means it's time for the new raiding. The raiding took us exactly a year, but we've earned almost 1,000 decades during that time. And I think at the same time, let me go and peace out Naples. Uh, it's gonna be tons of aggressive expansion, but honestly, I don't care because even if these nations join the coalition, what they can do against us? They don't have enough fleet to do anything. Yeah, obviously coalition is being formed. I would actually love to fight them on the navy and I can take some privileges from Dimi right now, which is gonna be tax meta on the provinces that are not Muslim, rocket religion unity contribution to being zero. I could also take the manpower bonus from them and I think I'm gonna do that because uh, we need more manpower. Of course, it's gonna decrease our crown land, but it's perfectly fine. And there we go, the coalition war is already declared. That took them long. And we are fighting with all of these boys. Actually, Ottomans are helping us. So, on the navy, they have 134 galleys. <sighs> okay, we need to play it smart. Especially that Ottomans have no fleet. Where is the Ottoman fleet? Oh, they got demolished by the Nice in the meantime. Okay, we need to play really smart with our navy because we can win that only if we take small battles, not the big ones. And as I also have tons of the rebels to deal with in a second, let me maybe just stop them from happening by simply increasing some of the autonomy. I unfortunately have to do that in order to deal with them. Let's see, they're already trying to land in our lands, so I already had to attack them with the navy. So otherwise, it would be pr I would be pretty yes. This is what we have to do over here. Now I'm gonna hide and fix our fleet and engage on them again. Not allowing them to land anywhere is gonna be the key. I don't know guys if I can do that. <laughs> Looking at 40k landing from 70 ships. Let's go, we can do this. Come on, look. It's 2.6 versus 2.2 of morale, right? We have a chance of actually winning that. Let's see. And I actually have a small plan for this. Because we could theoretically lose this battle but what i would do on 27th oh they already landed here from the other promise i run away you've killed five of the ships by losing two run away wait a month tick so i'll right away attack again so these guys will not land and then right now attacking ships with yes far lower morale maintenance and everything so that was far easier we've killed 18 ships in this battle now I'm gonna hide again and I wait for another month to again fight the battle. To fight these boys over here, I can also do something easy. Let me just recruit a grand company. I'll just detach some most damaged ships out of this fleet. And I'll try fighting them again. They'll be landing here on 8th of September. So let me actually go and attack them right away. <laughs> so many ships! <laughs> I'm not so sure if we can win that. But it's gonna be the same strategy. Run away just before the month -tick. And once that's done, recover some ships and attack again. 23rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Run away. They've lost two ships, we've lost none. <laughs> Wait a month, tick. Any ships that I should detach again? Detach those few. Too bad I didn't scorch land in this province. That would be far easier to fight. And let's like, attack them again. Oh yes, come on. Come on, we can do this, you boys. We can do this. How many ships we destroyed already? 28. 28 ships died so far. I should be able to even win this battle, so these guys will not land. That should be the key, actually. To, yes, not allow them to land. Come on. Come on. Okay. They've lost 15, 20 ships in this battle. And now I'm just gonna go and hide again. I need to hide. I need to hide. I need to hide. Even if I'm winning this battle, now it's time to hide. We can need to recover our morale a little bit. So yes, please go run. 43 ships destroyed or so far. Why don't we get a defensive edict here in the meantime? But with another month tick, I can go and try attacking them again. Maybe get rid again with the most damaged ships. So they'll be not in the middle of the battlefield, but most of my ships are damaged at this point. 
God, these are naval traditions. Only 26 with so many naval battles won. I'm just looking for a better leader now. Yeah, just destroy them in the meantime. Another eight ships destroyed. Why don't we try doing this? Come on. Yes! There we go! Stuck like this, boys. Now I just have to scorch air for over here and wait for more ships to come. I don't have to wait really long because I'll just go attack these guys and hide again. Hello there. And goodbye there. I think with this, <laughs> with this strength, we even have a chance of destroying major of the fleet. It's already 59 ships down. It's like 250 to go. So small battles like these ones are gonna be the key for winning this war. What I really don't want to do is are those gigantic battles with a hundred ships on their side because I don't really have a chance of winning those. That's why I'm just gonna focus on like this small beauties. Hello there, goodbye there. And it's already 71 ships that they've lost. I've stolen so many ships in this war already that I'm freaking 15 away my force limit. But I don't need all these transport ships, right? So why don't we go and decrease the transport ships force limit by 5? I don't know what Bosnia is thinking, but they declared a separate war on us. <laughs> the Ottomans were <laughs> so exotic that they, they rejected the war against Bosnia. Only Bosnia itself. Oh, see, they united the troops again and they're coming to 20k, which is okay. Let me just split the ships a little bit, get these most destroyed ones out of the fleet and engage on them because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be an easy win. <laughs> Oh, uh, you wanted to land? Okay, what about you? Mr. Oh, you also guys wanted to land. Uh, I'm very sorry to destroy your plans, but that's not gonna work out today. I'm just thinking to keep this battle, because they keep reinforcing, you see that? But they also keep losing more and more and more and more and more and more. I'll keep this battle until I start losing the, the ships, but this is not happening. This is not happening, look. Lost over 30 ships over here and I gained two in the same time. Let me just go and hide again. And at this point we've killed 150 ships and that's only 13% war score from winning battles, but we have the ticking war score at least. By the way, I should be able to raid more... Another war? Come on, what do you want to do against me? You have no chance of winning that. Look what is happening to their fleet. What I wanted to say is that there are more provinces that can raid. Look at this. Do you, are you ready for this? 118 ducats. Can I go farther? I don't think I can range that much. Nope. After roughly 30 naval battles, I have 50 naval traditions. So let me maybe try getting a better leader. This one is slightly better. It's not really visible on this type of the map, but look how Ottomans are being carved. Venice is, is all over the place now. Wait a second. Bosnia court are going to war against us. Why would you do that? And England declared on us. Conquest? Of what? Jabbar Tariq? No, they want to keep Raltar from us. I guess we're back to the old strategy. Small battles, engaging, doing the match, running away ASAP, three ships down. Fixing uh, the ships and engaging again. England, of course, already landed here, but it's not like I can do anything like that. And here, Tax Meta. No, let's go for the Membar. I don't know, guys. 193 ships down here, 44 here, and 17 here. <laughs> Time for the first naval battle of England. Let me show you where is the English place on the navy. Thank you so much, bye bye. And you know what? Why don't we retake Gibraltar from England? Because I would not let them get the ticking war score here. Venetian flagship sunk. Good riddance, that was three heavy ships from them that we just destroyed. <laughs> I love that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why we are at war with Castile now? England was losing so hard that they had to invite both Castile and Portugal in the door. Look at our diplomatic map mode. I am defeating all of these nations on the fleet. And what Castile can do to me? So what? You have 18 galleys. See, Aragon like a white piece already. Goodbye, Mr. Aragon. I don't know how many ships I destroyed from them, but probably majority of the fleet. Thank you so much, Castile. You had no chance. Uh, why me and England are on the same province and not fighting? I mean, that's fine. I can just stand on Gibraltar and wipe their troops first. Then to just wipe their navy, but why is that happening? 6 September. Thank you so much. Hello there. Goodbye there. Let's get uh, these guys back on the fleet again. And now declare. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is pure content. <gasps> I wasn't looking. 
And when I wasn't looking, they went a little bit too far. Let's go and try the Fennec. Let oh, they're landing with more. Come on. 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 It's the same thing happening. Look, I... Yeah, okay. There it goes. Now I can fight with them. And they have 30k troops in our capital now. It's a little bit of an issue. So why don't I peace out Florence? Do this. Now it's only 17,000 defending over here in the capital. So it'll be far easier to defeat them. And that's gonna be extremely easy. Take one stack. Start fighting. Take the other stack. Keep fighting. Get 1k out of the garrison. Win them easily. And that's gonna be a stack wipe. So even more war score for us, actually, that should be extremely worth it. Yes, seven war score. Thank you so much. I need to take the one person loss here. That's helpful for sure. I want to go and siege down Bosnia because in the war against them, I want to take at least one promise to be able to raid here. <laughs> See, England is again trying to land on Gibraltar. Come on. Stop, England. You cannot win that. Anyway, Mr. Bosnia. Why don't we peace out? And why don't I take all of these provinces, I think? Let's take where a precious everything possible. Thank you so much. Each province is very useful because we need more force limit to maintain our fleet. I should be able to peace out Castile by simply blockading most of their ports. Detach, go farther and go rate more. Hello there. Detach, go farther and rate. Now, thanks to this, we have 17% of the war score, so I can go and peace them out for some money, and we're left with only England and Navarra in the war. I think I have an enough fleet to go and start trading with two stacks of the ships at the same time. Just keep in mind, thanks to princess in Bosnia, I can raid even more, even Vienne. I can raid even Poland, that's 150 ducats for us. Yes, because from this to the here, the range is very short. This, I have 1.3 thousand ducats, and I can go and focus on white piecing Pope and getting something from England. Only blockading Pope's pores is enough to piece him out. You can see there's no more coalition against us. Yeah, the AE is still dropping. This is gonna be fine. I can beat any coalition at this point. Okay, we have 44% war score. I can take these two provinces. These two provinces not gonna accept because we're not occupying a fort in Labour. Okay. And this one promise, these two provinces, as well as so war operations and as much money is gonna accept, so nothing. This is some of expansion, but again, we don't care. The only problem is that France could join the coalition. Now I definitely need some break to deal with our local autonomy. The local autonomy is definitely too high at this point. Do we want to decrease it manually? <sighs> Let's do that. Let's do that. This is gonna be tons of rebels, so in case of war, I won't be really able to deal with them. Ah, oh, this is fine. I can take control of that. Ah, oh, Rule just died, so it means we... What is this? 222-006. How the hell am I supposed to fight with that? Oh shit, here we go again. Collusion is forming. But now I'm even more sure that I can easily win against them. Because we keep improving our navy and I have 80. 80 navy tradition. There we go. That's not me and Baluka. And how many... <sighs> Let me go and make a little ships stack wipes festival. Number one, number two, number three, and the war will pretty much end before it even starts. Five minutes later. After sinking 50 cylinder of the ships, they only left with this few, so they have no chance of winning against us, and I could focus on going and occupying Luca provinces. Time for admin ideas and first idea group. Ideally, we should go for naval. But I don't have meal points, so why don't we go for pirate ideas? Yeah, another galley combat ability, thanks to which we already have 50% of it. How many synchronies we did? 3, 4? But uh, finally, we at least got 4 to 4 ruler, which is very mediocre, but that's the best you can do. Good, Venice just declared on us, but what do you want to do with the na this navy? Actually, what I want to do with the peace deal with Luca, I want to take provinces around here in Germany, so be able to raid whole Germany, and I want to piss off as many people as possible. So more nations will join our coalition and maybe we'll do one gigantic war at the end of this session. As much as possible in Germany and Italy. This way, <laughs> we're gonna fight almost full pack of European countries against us on the Navy and we're gonna win that. We already have prepared some funds for that and in the next year more raiding is coming. Ah, uh, they declared too quickly. 
Collusion is not even full, it has plenty of more countries that could join, but I guess this is gonna be fine. And the more collisions should be declaring on us, and oof. 4 over 500 ships against us. I wouldn't be so sure if I can win that, but I'm gonna try my best. Obviously, I'm trying to redo my strategy where I'm trying to, yes, go and catch very small stacks. Because we are gonna fight gigantic stacks next to Tunis where everyone we wants to land. But that's also why I'm keeping 18, 20,000 troops over here waiting to get invaded. This is what I meant, 150 ships against us, but I'm gonna fight until I lose first ship. 51, I can run away. They've lost, oh, we've lost three actually. 136 galleys versus 27. Why don't we try getting a better naval leader? We have 83 naval tradition after all. Yes. Why don't we try fighting here again? My ships are more or less fixed. Let's attack. We have no general. Remember, I have five, six general here. That should be. <gasps> Ulmu declares on us. <sighs> okay, GG, guys. Let's just quit the game. Anyway. Let's try winning this battle, yes! Of course, I didn't kill that many. It was just a graphic bug. But we already killed 46 ships in this war. Look what is happening here. They keep reinforcing, keep losing so many ships. I don't know how many have killed here already. I think it's like 20 or even more. <laughs> yes, come on! Keep reinforcing! I'm fine with this battle, okay. Let's... Uh, do I want to run away? Because we're also losing ships. Yeah, let's just run away. <laughs> We've killed 60 ships in one battle. So this is already 106 loss on their side. That's another battle where they just keep reinforcing while having super raw morale and it's... Another war declared on us. This one... Ooh, this one is with France. So it's... Diplomatic map is becoming better and better. They keep reinforcing and I keep killing them. But there will be a point where I have to run away because my morale will be slow and I will start losing too many ships. And I think this point is coming very close. <laughs> Just interested how many ships we already killed. Once I get to f get to 51, yes, I can run away. Another 73 ships that we've killed. And we have plenty of raiding to be done. So why don't we just do a tour, sail around and trade the hell out of them to earn the funds to actually run the war against them. Pretty much already positive war score with every single enemy and look at that. 90 ships killed, 150, that's 140, that's 170. <laughs> that's 590 and that's 610 ships that we've killed in all of these wars. Isn't it that beautiful? Fleets? What fleets? I don't see pretty much any fleet that I could fight in all of these wars. Look, 90 killed. 50, 37, 26, 478, 19. And I think, guys, with this positive moment, with <laughs> finding all of these guys, being able to raid major of Europe, we're gonna end this video. So, guys, if you do enjoy this kind of the content, when I'm playing weird mods and making fun of them, remember to leave a like on this video, and let me know in the comments what mods we should try in the future. And for today, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel to get notified about these future videos and I'm gonna see you very soon.